Hi, my name is Danielle Maxwell. I am a master's student in the School of Education and also a doctoral candidate in chemistry. I received the graduate research grant in 2022. My dissertation research is focused on science identity and racial identity development of Latina undergraduate students, specifically at Hispanic serving institutions in the southwestern United States. So this grant funding helps support that work, specifically providing compensation to participants, making sure that I could travel to the Southwest, and engaging in all aspects of research, including hiring another graduate student to complete data analysis with me. Some outcomes of this have been some presentations at conferences. Um, for instance, I went to Puerto Rico in 2022 to share some results from this project, and I've also presented this work at a Gordon Research Conference, both as a poster and as an oral presentation. And I'm hoping to keep writing about this project, incorporating it into my dissertation, and then probably publishing one to three papers about it within the next couple of years. My dissertation research, being focused on Latina students, is really helping advance our understanding of Latina students' experiences in science. And so a lot of my dissertation research is looking at how students have access or do not have access to resources that support their identity development and growth as scholars. And so my dissertation research has looked at various components of those resources and those activation of resources. And specifically, we've looked at how familial resources are being utilized by students. So something that's coming out of my research is a deeper understanding understanding of how students are relying upon their friends and family as they're going throughout their science careers and the importance of those familial relationships. We're also noticing that this is not really unexpected, but that science isn't really being attentive to students' cultures and identities and being presented as more this objective set of series of facts. And students see that disconnect between their culture and that of science. And so they're engaging in this negotiation between those identities and trying to figure out where do they fit within science and how do they see their culture and sense of self within science broadly. And considering anti-racism and the implications that our work has for that, our work is really advancing ideas about how to best support Latina students in STEM education. That has implications for instructors and curriculum designers who might be wanting to bring more culturally relevant pedagogies into the classroom and be attentive to students' identities. My dissertation research is funded jointly by the National Science Foundation and by the Anti-Racism Graduate Research Grant. So the National Science Foundation has paid for my stipend and tuition, but all of my research expenses were covered by the Anti-Racism Grant. So this grant covered transcription costs and going to the actual Hispanic serving institutions in the Southwest and collecting data in person, as well as compensating students and hiring another graduate student for data analysis. So without this grant, I would not have been able to actually do the study in person, would have had to do these interviews remotely, which might not have had as authentic experiences between myself and the students that I was interviewing. I'm just really grateful for this opportunity. Graduate students don't always have the option to submit their own internal grants. This was really helpful for developing those grant writing skills and learning how to manage a budget along the way. So I'm just really grateful for that.